November the 4th, 2021 it is. I got another jock shock today. It always happens. It's always the same thing. Uh, today I got this jock shock. They I did not get attacked on with this directed energy weapons. I don't sleep inside of that room. Yeah, folks, I'm going to tell you, inside of that room, you get three hours of sleep and legs paralyzed. Uh, actually, with the cramps, uh, starts with the oculus area, the lower area of the legs, and it will just stiff your legs into unbearable, painful, um, you know, just as I was described, the test, exactly the test is being used on a British Special Forces uh, through directed energy weapons. They, what can I say, I was left with a short breath the other day, I collapsed three times. I need about I needed about half an hour to get my shit together to get going. Prince Philip uh, and he got this through Prince Andrew. Uh, it's this kind of technology that was implemented against me at large inside of my room to which they refer to as lab or radiation room uh, in a combination with this kind of stuff. Wow, it says here uh, as the allergens, really, really tasty and completely, completely fresh, so soft. Uh, but as the allergens, the two have in common, the two have common, uh, it's obviously, evidently, it looks like it's full of gluten and it's full of lactosis or lactose and uh, then basically I should say it's not only the cars old cars they financed but it appears that they finance this kind of stuff this was purchased in one Slovenian store Tush. Uh, mom always takes me to these locations very important also to note, uh, my mother, it's now all about the blood examination and according to MK Ocho, my mama told me she stressed a whole, like, crazier even than a jock shock, mainstream media. Did you see right there? Yeah, always when they hit you with a directed energy weapon, you know, you go sleep, you go, you're okay, you go sleep, you, you, they, they wake you up, you get your shit together, you turn the telephone on, and the next thing you see on a Yahoo, like on a front page, like, oh, yeah, straight in your eyes, or you get that customized in your news, it's just about fucking cancer. Somebody who was involved in anti-ultra cancer, cancer. Like this guy, a friend of Donald Trump, um, aggressive prostate cancer, he was right here on the front page, uh, aggressive cancer, uh, prostate cancer, and I'm listening, I'm having listen up, I'm not making fun of this. This is not what I'm here for. I'm not making fun of this, but if I would pay attention to the joke, shock, as Howard Stern would say, shock, jock, whatever, uh, technology, uh, it would be really, you have to admit, uh, I'll probably would be, uh, I would end up probably, I don't know, I completely probably demented for one thing. Oh, U.S. life expectancy falls sharply, latest data reveals. Okay. Um, I think I would be all fucked up, panicking. Uh, 
it, it's tough, man, when you have this song already for like four years when you lack energy uh, because you don't get sleep because you sleep deprived at large the most that's why you lack energy concentration but still yeah I know I do better than average without the disease but it's really bad it's really bad but anyhow uh, if I would go and consider all the people that they use through this jock, shock, whatever you want to address this bullying, uh, and along next to all these conspiracy theories that they embed in MK Ultra, like thousand verses about cancer lymph nodes uh, anywhere from the other end man what a crazy shit anything that I use in life this is no good no good no good whatever you eat no good no good no good um, I could I could even believe them if I would not know any better um, and then God knows what uh, I would be talking to you about on the internet but I'm not that um, realistically looking I came to conclusion to assess my uh, actually to assess average value of life um, it, under given circumstances, um, what can I say? I I am limited. I'm one individual. But if it doesn't matter to society, uh, fuck, it doesn't matter to me either. Why should it matter to me if it doesn't matter to society? I know God does not approve this kind of society. I know that's for sure, that's a fact, because what I see uh, through mainstream media, every time when I see the stuff like this, uh, when I recall this torture and stuff like this, uh, I don't see anything other than money, and uh, I see a lot, a lot of these people that perform torture and then through this mainstream media projected stuff in my face that relates to medical condition they have created me uh, and they continue to maintain through duration, through poisoning I see this like a really really sickening shit next to 28 years of life they destroy you everything they destroy you uh, this is just like the world I would say of Joseph Fritzl I, I think it's like uh, the people who run this stuff, the people that are involved in it, uh, this is just indifferent from Joseph Fritzl. This, this is this Austrian guy uh, they have incarcerated for whom I, by the way, now I actually feel that maybe he shouldn't even be incarcerated. I don't know why is he incarcerated. I mean, if we are honest, Why would you go and even basically incarcerate this guy when your culture basically, this is like a mirror of this individual? I don't understand. I don't get it. I mean, if you think about what you guys, what this is all about and you take no responsibility whatsoever uh, you are a real mirror of what is this individual. To me, for me, the way I see it, God does not approve what you're doing. Uh, how this is going to end, I think that will not even depend on you because of what I stated. But who cares? Look. 
the jock shock technology that accompanied me along the way through every directed energy attack and you have to admit folks in 2020 and 2021 we had not seen anything like this ever on Yahoo News that would have been something like this about the cancer as we have seen we have never seen anything like this before ever there is no website there's nowhere that would be something like this now I got stuff also custom stuff that they have made for me also through this uh, either that was an Android uh, other, other was on this page here like you would go they customize that on Google Chrome or whatever but it was always like this I am simply shocked I have to express I am dis disgusted that evidently listen uh, as I did go for a walk I recall the words from Sergey from Belarus. He told me if you're gonna eat them, if you're gonna eat all of them, you are definitely gonna be dead. Today I ate two of them. Not a good decision to tell you the truth. Um, he told me I was sorry for every one of them that I, if I could, I would not. Now it's too late, whatever. But was he really going through this kind of issues? I don't know. It's possible that it's just being used in this jock shock bullshit uh, to cause what they believe would be more psychological impact on me or something some kind of damage uh, but definitely um, I am not going to eat them um, and it was used to present me with more what I see really is a conspiracy theories more health related issues mama is going tomorrow on a blood examination and she brainwashed me and I don't care how I should have done a blood examination and this and that at this point in time it's already too late for you and la 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 okay gluten both of them basically gluten and lactosis are two allergens under gluten surprisingly I did not found anything harmful, anything that would trigger somewhat similar, if you want to call this side effects. Gluten is just really not a healthy thing, so what else can possibly be the negative so for the body? So for me to say, nothing I am experiencing it would go into a category related to gluten uh, as per side effects wherever but surprisingly lactosis does have effect on it uh, and again lactosis is something my sister was sensitive uh, that's even more crazier stuff um, Through the conspiracy theories I was presented and it didn't get crazier than this one here but they in interjected this here, the Crohn disease. I figure out the closest, no, God knows what it is. Um, next to so many theories that included even what I should not use uh, respirants, stronger respirants uh, and all kinds of crazy stuff uh, no I don't have nothing genetically um, what they have done to me I have no idea smoking 
I don't even smoke and stuff like that. Most likely this year is not. But, you know, I don't have abdominal, I don't have diarrhea, uh, I don't have a fever, I don't have a loss of appetite, I don't have a weight loss, uh, I don't have any kind of uh, skin tags, any, any of this here, no, 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 anal, anal fistulas, rectal bleeding, uh, fissures, I don't even know what that is. Uh, not nothing, not, none of that stuff. Uh, but I was capable actually to relate myself to this stuff here somewhat. Uh, it's called anemia, and it, the, there is some kind of ringing in ears. Um, I don't know, um, stuff that makes you feel all the time tired or cold, I wouldn't say exactly because I don't, I'm far, far, far under what, with a great lack of sleep. Um, this stuff here does not have anything on me as far as mental health. I'm not depressed. Um, I, I don't actually choke on what is this dirt and chalk and stuff. I don't do any of this stuff. Um, I find this interesting when it comes to ringing in ears and I have to say it is related to this stuff here which is a hyper theorism, hyper hypothyroidism, hyper Periodism. These two issues could have the stuff, it could have, I am, um, yeah, it's possible that this would have something to do with, uh, but this is the thing, my heartbeat is really, 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 really slow. Um, In my opinion, it's got something to do, well, it's, um, it's this stuff here, uh, why I will eventually add to my diet iron, uh, so therefore per anemia, all through anemia, the way I see this is just a sign of something bigger, of some other problem, uh, of imbalance due to some problem in your body. This is just one of the side signs of major disease you're experiencing. Um, <laughs> the closest that it comes to me is the stuff already I have pointed out. But anyways, I was told eventually, you see, a blood test and so on. What I was told is, I was told eventually that stuff they're gonna do to me, stuff they already have done to me, it's not gonna be eventually even possible to uh, separate from what would look like a disease, whatever. But I, I was so detailed about who had to do with all this stuff. Uh, that I could be more than what I was, so I don't have anything else to say uh, in respect to the November 4, 2021 that's all about the jock shock another day um, 
I know. I know. I know that this was not a coincidence. I am just... Uh, I am shocked that you would go and plan this shit in the store literally so that... That's what I'm trying to understand. And... Uh, this... Uh, attempt to understand this Western culture somewhat it appears to me indifferent from the one I have experienced in Poland very much uh, for Poland Americans brainwash me that Polacks are schizophrenics they're paranoid that they're sick uh, this is just the way it is Eastern Europeans and this and that I uh, rejected emotion because of what went on. It appears to me that Pollocks alone, where I was, many occasions, uh, give their best for me to see myself in that theory and take the side against them. And it appears to me now, same shit, same thing like with the Slovenia. When I am back, when things go so wrong, and I knew this is going to be the case when I return to Slovenia, by the way. It, it, it appears to me now, Americans, yeah, foremost, Americans are doing this shit now to ease the weight on, on, on Pollocks the stuff they did against me I don't know the only thing I know is that God does not approve this uh, it's indifferent from Joseph Fritzl yeah it says gluten uh, I'm sure you can see it gluten and lactosis yeah I say, God, I think Christianity also everybody has his, and I'm not here to preach to anyone about anything. They were 50% off, 50% off, that's why I purchased them. Next to this stuff, I got another lesson from Mama. Uh, number one lesson was the neighbor it did happen under MKO that she would buy a fish, uh, actually no fish, a chicken, which also appeared for the cost of 250 on a pack. Uh, so uh, 250 for three kilos breast, and mom even added extra fuel to it inside of this very same store. It's a Slovenian store. Uh, this is one guy who was involved in MK Ultra. I should know the private details about this guy. It's actually how he built the store to me. No, no, this shit is real. Uh, he wouldn't have a fucking dime in his pocket without my case. That's how he created the connections. That's how he got the money from credit, everything and the whole thing going. This is the founder of this store, exactly, precisely. So I know that, as I stated, Italians drove here uh, to Slovenia, uh, stuff from Italy, like pomegranate apples and stuff like that. Uh, others from, from other areas, when these wealthy people came here, just everything possible to accommodate in Slovenia, just got anything they could ever wish for when it comes to purchasing arrived everything arrived on the shelves in the supermarkets within the reach like this it was not like this before we had here serious lack in Yugoslavia uh, it was all kinds of stuff that was missing from the from the store shelves but all of a sudden in 95 everything drastically changed the landscape of the supermarkets uh, merchandise availability drastically changed more more abundant more than in United States alone 
or maybe even Germany, I have no idea. Uh, the thing is that the chicken, it was like this. We went then to another store where I purchased a Charles. That was Italian store. For which I was told, if it's not going to be good news according to our news, it's going to be something like this. And really, I came home, I opened the package and it was again 50% off. Yeah, that's how they get. And the smell just exploded. Meaning that what my mom told me for the chicken in this Slovenian store, uh, she couldn't say directly, but that was exactly what pertained to the fish. But on the way back, all this stuff is already recorded. She talked about how she spent, I don't know how much money on me, $200 today on the shopping and stuff like this, crazy. 550 she really did. Um, We did return even the fish back. When I came home, I looked at the bill, and it was not 250 for three kilos. It was 250 for kilo, which was uh, still a big reduction, but you see. So that's why I know this is again a fucking jock shock. You want to call this therapy or whatever setup. November 4th, 2021. Every time after directed energy attack or poisoning, exactly like this. But this shit now goes literally through the stores. Whose easing circumstances, what is this trying to be depicted to me as now? This case is not the case of science. I don't even want to refer to one anymore as MK Ultra case. I, I was told this is like the case I should tell you about. It's about the biggest disparity ever. Uh, you know, on one side, guy like you. Um, thanks, G. Um, I did notice also even Pope from Vatican is involved in it. Um, and on the other side, uh, people like that, um, and they have, and you don't, uh, and, uh, you know, values, uh, a culture, a moral, and all this. Folks, this is more than anything about perversion. To put it in one sentence, in one word, the whole thing. Um, perversion. That's what this is. If it, this is not about disparity, which is like just a life of discrimination, and it's not about MK Ultra, it's just really about perversion. When it comes to my mind, from this point and on, when I think about my mom eating herself in the room next to this one, uh, myself eating myself, and I see these political figures, uh, it's, it's like, it looks like a bunch of idiots, like you would line idiot next to idiot. I mean, just look at these people. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, and what mainstream media basically accommodating some kind of culture of perversion uh, how can I possibly relate to this stuff differently it's a culture of Joseph Fritzl excuse me I don't know how to see it any different. I lost 28 years of life and the issues that are embedded in this case uh, I don't want to talk about what is moral and what is not moral. I was concise, I pointed out what I think about what I think about it all. It's a sad case and some people make money with it, evidently are making money with it. Um, and I should be like really good so that a pervert would smile on me 
and I would be lucky then, I suppose, getting more proofs about it. Is that how it works? <laughs> um, sickening shit. It makes me almost feel sorry we had it on the trail of perversion. We were in a really bad place. This, this Yugoslavia was a bad place, but what we had it for the sake of, it doesn't matter if other people are in a better situation, it's enough that you have a sign like this that, that exists, it persists, uh, it marks entire society entire Slovenian, actually entire global society like this. We became part of something that is just, it appears like it's teaching our people to view the purpose of life in perversion. Because this communication methods they're implementing, uh, using people here to do stuff and uh, as an easing of the circumstances for these people that do bad stuff, uh, they wave you through the mainstream media so they steer attention elsewhere. Um, rate you as mentally ill so that you would actually not use the health services when you need them. And so it's the only time that your health services were actually used, and they were used against you. Um, state employment agency that you don't even dare to approach to and so on, I don't know. I don't know about this kind of stuff. Uh, how would you otherwise rate this than what I did? Okay, 28 years of life on this proves this is about sickening as it gets. It's all about perversion. This isn't about teaching anybody, this isn't about, you know, this is just about the clientele that is mentally ill and it's just what we see basically oftentimes in mainstream media, people going in and committing all kinds of stuff anywhere from Rampage shooting still. I don't know. You know, it's a perversion. It's more about perversion than anything else. For the mother, mom case developed in a in a form that mother told me that in respect to the blood examination that it will be decided about what's gonna go from with her, from within with her in respect of the situation. It's going to be a very dangerous time. Uh, they can, uh, uh, most likely they will call me to hospital. I will, I will stay in the hospital for, I don't know, week, two weeks or something like that even. And it can happen, they can remove me from the process. You will know what that means. That's like death. On my way back, from Otochets, I saw a couple uh, insisted me, when you see this, it is over, it is over, the mom is gone. It's about this blood examination. I'm talking about, of course, MKUltra, what mama told me. Um, the, the couple that was in MKUltra had boxes outside, right here, not too far from here. Um, Tonight, everything tonight on my way back from Matochitz. The signs were laid down, that the lights would trip like a uh, blink, like uh, a candle or some stuff like this, right? Almost like a kilometer from here on my way back home in the evening. Um, there was a 
a truck that came to pick up something whatever also with the lights that's like with a mama and stuff like that uh, they did a thorough brainwash a uh, mama on the MK Ultra that had obviously they had this kind of examination done already then gestured me how I should be the one going and checking myself at uh, the hospital that I passed that I'm now dead because it's a blood examination you should have had done will tell you only if you're gonna be nice you were gonna see how you're gonna express concern and this and that for me and that kind of stuff it's just a classic uh, style that psychiatrists, psychologists use basically a perversion technique that is being used to get as much as possible uh, concern-wise from the victim because it's the only time that you can continue with abuse basically you can only continue with abuse as much as you can get concern from the person in other words if I want to abuse you what I need is create some kind of emergency for myself so just as long as I see that you worry about me I can do this stuff when I see you no longer worry about me it becomes dangerous for me it's also counterproductive because the goal here is to break psychologically person down that's how this shit works okay now this is no science this is idiotism um, if you would see these people involved in this stuff you would quickly understand me but the choice they don't leave any as long as they get bang for the buck I'm an educated guy uh, listen I was going to talk to you right now about time when I was in school and in English class we had to learn about values of life uh, Victorian times some of you know about that stuff man uh, I didn't get any kind of impression about any kind of values uh, from anybody really 